Stuart, what was your take on that game today? I just, uh, I, again, the soft underbelly, Scott's the, uh, the, the thought process at this minute in time. You know, start the game first, it's only three minutes or so, whatever. Um, I feel that we'll look steady enough in the game. You feel as if the players are, are going to be equipped and well enough versed to deal with the conditions and the task in hand. Um, but from us being in possession to gift up the first goal and the nature that we do is just, that bit's unacceptable. It's not good enough. Um, we have to make sure that we understand what the game plan is. We have to under that make sure that we process the information that's given out before the game. You know, playing into that central midfield area with almost a straight pass. It's always going to get us hung. You know, it's always going to get us hung in these conditions when there's an opportunity to play into your striker. Um, then I just feel that that's, uh, that's a major, major negative for us at such an early stage in the game. And then I think the second goal possibly comes as a result of that because you can see their level of performance in the first 45 minutes um, that we start to look a bit nervy. We start to look a little bit unsure of ourselves. Um, and the second goal is avoidable for me as well. You know, guys like Canwell drifting into your 18 yard box, you know, not matching the run first and foremost when he goes into that area. But secondly, you know, that emergency defending, as I call it, when he felt when it falls to him, not throwing your body in the line, not getting down the line of the ball, not trying to protect your goal, um, then the end result speaks for itself. You're 2 0 down within, I don't know, 17 minutes or so of the game. Uh, and against the team like Rangers in the, in the form that they're in at this minute in time, winning games, then it's going to be an uphill task. As always, second half good reaction from us we start to play the way that we wanted to in the opening stages of the first half um, and again it, it's kind of it's kind of cheap words really isn't it that that would absolutely have us in this game of football we would absolutely be um, really really competitive in this game had we started the first half the way that we go and play in the second half a um, couple of wee moments where we would like to work the goalie better in the second half and see if we can get that one goal um, that you're hoping just likes the torch paper but uh, we, we, we don't inevitably get it um, but certainly certainly from my side of things I just feel that we, we, we just gift up our goal far far too easy and I felt we'd rectified that last week if I'm being honest Scott I wasn't comfortable on it but I just felt that there was signs that we started to look as if we're a team that can get clean sheets but defending the way we do the first two go or the only two goals in the game you're never going to stand a chance can you take anything from today's game into this next match against Aberdeen? Yeah, I, I, I can again take, um, and, and a lot of people will feel as if it's cheap words, but what I can take is the reaction in the second half, that, that we do step forward, that we don't disappear and start to feel sorry for ourselves. There's, there's a genuine attempt to get back into the game. Um, but, you know, I, I have to be specific in it, and I have been in the dressing room, that um, the same sort of errors and the same sort of judgment calls and uh, stages of games of football are going to continue to put us into the, the, the same position and again I'd be a wee bit frustrated myself if I felt I hadn't covered some of those those issues and I hadn't addressed them and I hadn't spoke to individual players and demanded that a little bit more. We understand where we are, we know we don't have heaps of options and loads of opportunity for wholesale changes to our team um, but what we do have is, is a group of players that in the past, and it, and it is in the past now, um, have made far better decisions and performed better than what they did in that first 45 minutes so again the players have to take ownership for that they, they, they genuinely do. I'll again start and, and, and take my, my, my share of the blame undoubtedly I will do um, you know you always question yourself can we make changes before the second goal goes in can we alter something before it gets to that point where you find yourself two goals behind um, but for the opening exchanges from the first goal that is sort of the catalyst for the outcome today um, and, and we have to start a game of football much much better um, and much more prudent than what we have done um, yet again today even though the signs were leaning towards that, that we started to look like a much more kind of solid defensive structure last week against St Mirren. What do we need to do to go up to Pataudry and get a result? We have to get back to work, um, understand the time of year, I appreciate the supporters again coming in their numbers today and Christmas Eve, that's never easy in itself, especially in these conditions, um, but they did, they turned up to back their team and get behind their team yet again today, um, we, we owe them a response, we owe them a, a, a reaction, but we have done for a period of time now, so again I'm not going to try and patronise anybody on that front, um, but we have to get back to work immediately you know I'll speak to you guys just now but we start to analyse what we felt went wrong which for me um, I don't have to dig too too deep into um, and we start to prepare for for Aberdeen uh, again it goes without saying at this time of year everybody wants a couple of hours with their family which uh, which, which hopefully we all get um, but again immediately tomorrow we're starting to focus on that Aberdeen game trying to get the players to recover no, no excuses but yeah again Aberdeen don't have a game yesterday so it's an extra couple of days recovery on us that they'll have faced that a few weeks ago again 
against Ross County when their game was called off against Livingston. So these things do mount up. They are a challenge. Um, but if we go in with a better performance, uh, especially in that first half today, then you can begin into these games brimming with confidence. So I won't make that as an excuse. It's, it's absolutely the situation. Um, but we do get back to work and time is going to be of the essence to make sure that we're well enough prepared to play against an Aberdeen side uh, at home that, that will have their tails up and be um, uh, thinking with the run that we're on, they, they, they'll be imagining that'll be a three points for them. It's our job to go and try and make sure that we can try and change that narrative, Scott. Just lastly, what have you made of Aberdeen? They, they, they beat Livingston at Pataudry, get to a cup final, obviously a game postponed at the weekend. What have you made of their recent run? Yeah, again, I think uh, I think it's been I think it's probably been a difficult run for Aberdeen when you take into account European football, which they'll want and they'll build for and they'll finance. Of course, they will. Um, but getting to a cup final, um, they got three points, which was a, a reaction to losing a cup final. So again, for me, I, 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 I pretty much look and I know that there's there's been occasions maybe where results haven't been what they would be looking for. Um, but I see an Aberdeen team that's got plenty of quality in it. I see an Aberdeen team that will be incredibly difficult to play against at Pataudry um, and again from our side of things if we start to uh, look towards ourselves then we have to be our absolute best to try and get something out of the game I think it'll be a physical game I look at Aberdeen very very good at set plays very very good from dead balls I think they've scored a lot of goals from, from those types of situations but they carry other threats as well especially at the top end of the park somebody like Majofsky who um, is still in good form still knocking in goals at this level so it brings its challenges Scott but one again uh, we will work towards trying to be our absolute best set up to make sure that we can uh, we can try and get something out of the game. Thanks for your time, Stuart. Thank you.